Hey everybody, it's Jeff Cool. We're talking about driving better process change, and this is the select a method tip. An executive at one of my workshops once asked, why not just wing it when we do change management? And the answer there is ROF, risk of failure. The better your change management efforts, the lower your risk of failure in a process improvement rollout. The problem is, there are a lot of authors saying a lot of different things about change management, and every one of them will tell you that their book is the best and the only method that you need. However, the sad truth is, there is no one industry standard best practice for managing change. There are different ways, and you're going to have to figure out which is best for you. How do you do that? You could take a year off, spend tens of thousands of dollars attending all the seminars and reading the books and making your choice, but this is one area in which you don't want to let perfection get in the way of progress. I'm going to show you a quick method that's free, it only takes a couple hours, and it will get you started on choosing a method. And it all begins with you going to the largest library near where you are. You'll do what I call a two-hour kickstart. Start by getting six books on change management by different authors. These books usually have a library call number starting with 658. Skim each of those books for only five minutes. When you're done with that, pick your three favorite books, check those out, and take them home for a deeper skim of a half hour each. And I don't mean 30 minutes of reading pages 1 through 20. In that 30 minutes, get through the entire book. When you're done, if you found an author that you really like, check out their other works and dig deeper into what that person has to say. If you haven't found anything you liked, you can trash this and go off for some different authors. When you go to make your choice, there are a couple recommendations. Number one, if you ask people what their opinions are, understand that some of them may have only seen one or two methods and they're going to recommend to you what worked for them. Alternatively, can you find a person that has seen multiple methods and they will recommend what is best for you? Next, understand that what works in one environment may not work at a different organization. If you work in hardcore manufacturing that's heavily regulated, heavily unionized, and then you take what worked there for change management over to a Silicon Valley startup, that may not translate well. What works well at the local hospital may not transfer well into the county parks and recreation department. Whatever you pick has to be a good fit for your culture. It's something that you understand, you're comfortable in working with, and it's a good fit to your organization. And then lastly, a lot of these books are about theory. Have a bias toward those that are actionable. They're going to provide you with checklists or tools or procedures or risk assessments. So there you have it. That is our Select a Method tip. Time to get out your library card and have fun reading.